What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get PSX for all on the iPod Touch and iPhone. First what you want to do is go to Cydia. In the description box I'll be putting what generation iPod this um, this emulator is compatible with and, and the download links to for the ROMs and everything else. Alright, what you want to do is go to search, you type in PSX number 4. Oh, it should, it should be here. I have the one, the pink one, but you can get whichever you want. I prefer the pink one. It doesn't show on here, but it there's a download, uh, download, uh, you could say source or whatever download source, where it has the BIOS, so you do not have to go to on the computer to download the fi BIOS. What to get it? When one, what you want to do is go to sources. And go to and repo dot com slash add it if you don't already have it. You go to the P section, scroll all the way down to get near the PS PSX for all, and it should be here. Install it as well as PSX for all. After after that, it should be on there. All right, now let's get on the computer. So guys, first what you want to do is go to the, your web browser. In the description box, I'll be posting a link of the ROM website that I use. All right, once you get here, you can either click on the letters to go to your um the game that you are you are trying to get, or search for it through here. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on the letter. And go to C. <coughs> All right. Download, let's say Crash Bandicoot 2. Bandicoot. I'm not really sure what the e, what the letters mean. I know it means like what country, but I'm not really sure, like what specific. All right. Once you do that, you can either scroll. You have to scroll down. Either copy and paste it. Paste it on um, another tab, or do a direct download. Let's say do a direct download. Whenever you do a direct download, it'll ask you for a, a, a code so they know you you are not a computer. With that, just click here on the direct download, and this should pop up. I already have this game, so I'm not gonna get downloaded. Right after that, I um you extract it, and but on the on the desktop, I like to put a folder called ROM, so every, all my ROM games are ROM games aren't spread out through on the computer and stuff. Alright. Let's say I extracted to ROMs. It is here. Crash it should it's gonna mine says crash two bin dot em ECM but others might say something different. Um, once you have this what you need to go download I'm gonna be posting a link another link in the description um of what I use. Um you can either use something called ECM tools or pack ISO. Pack ISO is a lot better because it you can do more things on there. But I'm gonna be using Pack ISO. What I'm gonna do is open it. I'm gonna be posting a link with both of them. Crash bin dot em ecm. Gotta show this. What you wanna do is drag drag it onto un ecm. And this should pop up. And it, all it's doing is decoding, and that's all. And it should, whenever it's done, something should pop up saying, "Let's say my game crash two dot bin," and you can see here. As and then what you want to do it something else is SSH into your iPod using Win SCP. After that, just keep on going back and go to mobile media and just go to here ROMs PSX. Just grab get uh the game that says bin, not bin dot ECM, just where it says crash two dot bin and drag it onto PSX ROMs. 
I already have it there, so I'm not going to drag it there. And after that, you'll have the game on there, and let's get back to the iPod. Alright, now that we're back on the iPod, what you want to do is go to PSX for all. It should look like this, the icon PlayStation logo. Alright, please don't blame it on me if the ROM does wor doesn't work, because it is not my fault. Sometimes they work, and some sometimes they won't work. Mostly, all, all of them should work, but some here and there won't work. That was me. Alright. Click on the game that you got. Um, this screen should pop up in portrait and sound. It will kind of make it like a little bit the screen a little bit. Whenever they move a bit choppy. But it's better to use portrait and no sound since it makes it the game game more smoother when you're playing. Alright. It's going to take, sometimes it takes a while for it to load. Sometimes it won't. Try to skip this. Yeah, can see here, pretty good. Just like the regular PlayStation. It's a lot faster than this. It's usually not this though. I guess maybe because I'm using, I'm recording the screen at the same time. Blah blah blah. Alright, we'll go to go to this world. Here we are. Again, it's a lot smoother, but since I'm recording my screen at the same time. Playing this for a while. Let's show y'all. Alright, and on here, if you press the I guess back button, menu button, it should say this. Save currently loaded state. Uh, that what that does is is it creates a save file. And whenever you go to that save file, it'll automatically load up the game. And you'll start where you're starting from right now. Let's say I save it. Let's do that. Save it. Quit to main menu. And it saves. Six here. Crash two bin. Portrait no sign. See? Opens up. Not really not too sure about save state in your file. Not really sure about that. Alright. So this is my way of getting PSX for all on the iPod Touch and iPhone. Thanks for watching.